Good morning, Jeff. How are you? Doing well. How are hey, you? Tell me this, Jeff, go off the top. Which alibi did you find more believable? <laughs> Last year's about the, the evil FedEx man or this one that he was just calling <laughs> Tony Bosch to consult with him as an expert? Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> That's tough. I mean, look, any somebody asked me that last night. Do you believe it's plausible? And, and you know what? Uh, I would not have believed it was plausible that Ryan Braun uh, was going to get off uh, with no suspension when uh, he had elevated levels uh, of testosterone found in a urine uh, found in his urine that was then put in a triple uh, sealed tamper-proof cup. Uh, and the uh, sample had not degraded after spending the weekend in Dino Lorenzi's basement, and yet there Ryan Braun was playing uh, 160-some games last season and uh, finishing second in the MVP race. So uh, what what I think uh, actually is the reality sometimes uh, does not necessarily uh, jive with it. Well, call that me- being said, there are all sorts of questions uh about this. Number one, why the hell would you use an active drug dealer as a consultant when you have the best experts in doctors uh, and in testers in the world at your disposal? Number two, why was Ryan Braun's name still amid Alex Rodriguez, Melky Cabrera, Cesar Carrillo, and Frankie Cervelli, the first three of whom are uh, tied to PEDs and the fourth of whom admitted working uh, with Tony Bosch and getting products from him. Now, Jeff is referring to the handwritten records that Tony Bosch from Biogenesis kept for himself. Can you detail the context of Ryan Braun's name in those logs uh, as compared to A-Rod's name so far anyway, Jeff? Yeah, and let me just, I'm about to break something on your show here, guys. This is interesting, though. Uh, David Cornwell was one of Ryan Braun's lawyers, and we just received a statement from him. Quote, I was not familiar with Tony Bosch prior to Ryan Braun's case. In the 15 years that I've represented players facing discipline under the various professional sports leagues, substance abuse, and steroid programs, I have relied primarily, if not exclusively, on Dr. David L. Black and his team of scientists at Aegis Science Corporations in Nashville, Tennessee, as my experts with respect to scientific and other matters relevant to the testing of player specimens. Bosch was introduced to me at the earliest stage of Ryan's case. I found Bosch's value to be negligible, and thereafter I followed my prior practice of relying on Aegis in the preparation of Ryan's winning defense. Now, what the hell does that tell you right there? Hmm. The lawyer is saying <laughs> that this doesn't seem to jive very well, right? Right. And was Cornwell's phone number not in those records, or was that another attorney's number? That was another attorney. That was Chris Lyons, who, when I called yesterday, uh, declined comment. But I spoke with Chris Lyons twice, and he twice had an opportunity to say to me, we use Tony Bosch as a consultant. Now, look, uh, th- this case, uh, as do all PED cases, get weirder and weirder. And just to answer your question from before, Ryan Braun was mentioned three times. One of those times, uh, you know, could, it really is not by any means a definitive tie. When uh, Tony Bosch sent a letter to Juan Nunez, Melky Cabrera's uh, runner with the Aces Agency, and said, uh, it looks like Melky in the All-Star game when he won the MVP had the Braun advantage. Mm. Now, uh, I, I may end up co-opting that and, and taking the word brawn advantage to the rest of my life because that's really a great little phrase when <laughs> when you load up on something and uh, you, you have the brawn advantage. Uh, second uh, was, was the document you were just talking about where Chris Lyons, one of his attorneys' number was there, and it said uh, Ryan Braun, RB 2230K. Braun has explained this is the consulting fee and the argument over the fee that uh, they had. And the third mention is the one I said before, the one that's gone unexplained still with Melky Cabrera and Alex Rodriguez's name uh, right next to Ryan Bronze. For more, visit weei.com slash video.